putting together our um, Mardi Gras rail. This is the rail kit. Um, I've showed it before. We painted it, what, last week? I don't even remember. Um, so now it's time to put it together. And we have the other ones that we showed yesterday that still need to be sealed. And then I still need to paint the leprechaun. Um, so, yay. Thank you for the love, you guys. Um, we did the bunny and the cupid and then the leprechaun's next. So, hey, Trisha. Hi, Susie. Good morning, everybody. So, we're going to, um, attach the, when you get the rail kits, it has these little, um, I don't know, like little holes, tabs, whatever you want to call them. So they are supposed to line up with the rail. If you wanted to use the larger rail, they stood sh they should still line up. And that's because you can make this whatever you want. If you didn't want to use the rail and you wanted to attach this to a wreath, do your wreath and then you could still um, connect it, like put this part inside the mesh and um, have it like sticking out. So it's not, if you don't want to use the rail, it's not just for that. There are other things that you could do with it. Good morning, everybody. Can you guys still hear me? Yeah, Mom, you might have to go out and come back in. So I'm grabbing my zip ties. I have different colors, so I try to um, coordinate. So I have gold, we're gonna use gold. Um, so I take the zip tie and I put it through the hole and then put it through the rail and um, attach it that way. They can hear. Now you can overlap it if you want and bring the bottom rail on top or you can, um, you know, make it to where they're standing on top of each other, whichever way you want. I like mine sturdy to where it doesn't move around. So if you put it on top, it shouldn't move around too much, but we're just gonna see. So I don't tighten it all the way until I get the other one on so it's not so hard. Our Christmas was pretty good, Marianne. Thank you. How was yours? Did you seal before paint? We seal after the paint. Uh, we use a uh, Rust-Oleum 2X clear coat. That is just the number two with the X clear coat. And we seal it afterwards. And that's even after this, this uh, glitter and everything. I keep wanting to call them sparkles, but... They are um, sparkles. Even after the glitter. Hey, both of you guys. Um, so I paint it, do all the glitter, everything, then I give it to him and say, it's ready to be sealed. I like mine a little bit more glossy. He tends to be light-handed. I like it looking, uh, like it's, like wet. it's a shiny diamond. <laughs> so I've, got, I've gotten better. I you feel. have, you have. Okay. So make it whatever you want. Hey, Linda. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Barbara. Good morning, everybody. So, yes, our Christmas was great. Um, the kids made out like bandits with Santa. Um, I got a new coffee maker, which I'm pretty stoked about. Um, so, it was a really good Christmas. They, they really need good. to stop bickering. Hey, you guys can go in your rooms. Why don't you guys pause it? I can't do the bickering. <laughs> Peace out. If you guys turn that karaoke machine on while we're live, it's going in the trash. So Amelia got a karaoke machine for Christmas, it and it took the to TV okay. in her room, and they just go crazy on the microphone because it's you yeah. know amplifies. I'm in trouble now. She gave me the, she gave me the glare. Oh, you're in trouble. Well, we tell them you know keep it down. We're not telling you to be quiet, but keep it down. And then when they're playing, they start the bickering, and I can't do the bickering. So. Okay, so I just attached it like this. Now, before we do the mesh, I'm going to show you how we, I should have done it before this. Um, I just take a, um, oh, look, I had smaller ones here. You take a, um, here's one, cable tie mount and attach it to the back here. Um, I like to try to make it in the middle, so I would line it up on the back, uh, 
center it so it hangs right. But I just attach it like this and I put a pipe cleaner through and that's what I hang it with. We had one, um, oh, it was this one. Never mind, I took it apart. Um, so, yeah. Um, let's see. Now what do we do? So now we take the <coughs> mesh part. Well, let's put the ties on. The kids have me all discom we're, we're, discombobulated. We're okay now. <clears throat> so I'm just going to do three ties down the middle. Because last time when I did um, five ties, it was really, um, I felt a lot. And it took away from the, um, the piece. So we're going to try three. I'm going to do one kind of up from the end here. Because I don't want his legs to be covered. I'm. I, you need to like. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's gotten very uh, comfortable with her singing, but she says mm -hmm. she needs to sing when the song is playing. So that's okay. She's doing a, a lot better singing, uh, singing out out loud a lot more, and she's yeah. trying to compare herself to the the radio or herself to the radio. Yeah. I'm telling her I'm like. I actually, I said, do you think I got my wonderful voice from, um, and you think it just came naturally? I said, no, I had to practice, and I, I sang. Did you do Hey and the Delilah? Kids, no, I did, like, the the scales. Oh. But the kids, you know, I didn't do it. I, I'm not a singer, so it came out as you would think, and the kids started laughing, and there you go. Whatever. Hi, Karen. Hi, Karen. So, um, yeah, so I have gold, green, and purple pulled out. I'm just going to do, um, three strips. This is 10 inch, three strips of 30 inches, which this is what? 24. Let me cut the end off that. That looks yeah, awful. That's really great, huh? Yeah, that looks awful. So, in the title of the live, we put, you know, we're going to work on the Mardi Gras rail and talk about Hi. the awesome stuff. Yes, what? I do not know, baby. I've seen it this morning, but Where's I don't know Where's your tablet? Where I thought it was in your bedroom, actually. Pretty sure it's in your bedroom. Anyways, um, so we're going to do the Mardi Gras rail kit, and we're going to talk about 2019 and all of the awesome stuff that happened with the business in our home oh in 2019. <laughs> God, I'm sorry. Um, I mean, the biggest thing, obviously, that happened was us getting the laser. Which, for those of you that were here at this time last year, we were just starting to talk about it. And, you know, thinking about it. Um, I don't think we said anything to you guys till like, February. Right? I don't even when we remember decided that we're actually going to do it, but we didn't get the machine until June tenth. Yeah, <laughs> I'll which never was forget. <laughs> you know a month and a half away from Wreath Makers Live, and we had been holding out to do a bunch of stuff until we had the machine. Yeah, and I tell you what, research, research, research really pays off because if I did not do the the length of research that I did on learning the capabilities of the machine before even having it, we would have been in a much rougher state than we were. Because all considering, I got the machine up and running relatively quick. Yeah. I mean, compared to the CNC, the CNC, I didn't feel like I had that thing going well for at least a month and a half after having it. Karen, okay, I did Karen. see your message. I don't have anything painted right now. Um, Not 20 inch. I don't normally paint 20 inch and keep. Um, I only do that per order. So you'll have to send me an email on what you want to order to see if I can paint it. Oh, I didn't do this right. So what I'm doing is rolling the end a little bit. My hand does not want to hold this. So rolling up the end so it's a nice curl and then ruffling it <laughs> right down the middle and then putting that right in the tie. 
without it flying out of my hand. Awesome, Adrian. Yay, Adrian. So make it what you want. If you want it more full, then add more ties. I felt that last time I did this, it was too full and it kind of took away from the piece. So that's why um, I'm trying it this way. And with Mardi Gras, if you just throw the you know purple, gold, and green on it, you're going to be good. I did not, so I went to the Dollar Tree. They did not have any of their Mardi Gras stuff out yet. They were in full Christmas. There was crap everywhere. <laughs> I'm sure it was a mess. I even asked them, uh, do you have your Mardi Gras yet? And he said, no. They were. They literally had boxes everywhere. They were still trying to stock the shelves and, you know, all their things with the Christmas. And I'm like, uh, okay. So... I'll have to try it. That's where I get the beads from because you can get a whole bunch of beads. So there's the piece. And now when we put ribbon and stuff on there, it's not taking away from, um, you know, you can still see his legs. You can still see his hat. Um, hey, Krista. So Teresa said, do you put glues on the ties so they don't move? And that was the first time I had seen Damon do that the other day as well. Mm -hmm. so. I don't use glue. I tie them really tight. If you're more comfortable with using the glue so they don't move, I would definitely do it. I, you can see that these aren't moving even when I'm, you know, I'm pushing it pretty hard. They're not moving. Sometimes they do come loose on me and I just, uh, before I put the stuff in, if it's loose, I tie it really tight. So. Uh, and if you think about it, if you've got your glue gun handy, What's the extra 30 seconds to drop a couple dots on there? Yep. So, um, I, mean, I was going to do top, uh, ribbon tails and a bow, right? Uh, sure. <laughs> you need all this? Yeah. Just scoot it over. <laughs> Let me move this. Oh, you still need that. It's pretty cute, isn't it? So, we're going to do the same thing with the other, um, the other rail kits as soon as they're done. Um, it gets, you know, I just painted it yesterday. I don't like sealing immediately after I paint just to make sure that it's completely, um, dry, yeah. completely dry. So usually when they're done painting, I just let them rest and then I'll tell Richard, oh, it's ready. And then, um, he'll take them out and seal them. And then we, we don't ship immediately after they're sealed because I really want to make sure it's dry because if I'm packing it, normally I wrap it in, uh, with tissue paper so they don't get all scratched up. Um, I don't want it like sticking or doing anything funky. So anyways. Um, um, if you guys are new around or you haven't seen her make this. a bow before, the two nice. things she's got here that she's going to use is our four spool board. Uh, this will hold two of these large, well, how many yards is this? 50. 50 yard. It'll hold two large 50 yard rolls in each corner. So eight 50 yard rolls if you wanted to. Obviously, she's got a hodgepodge here. And then these two <laughs> dowels in the middle, middle, you can actually use for one if you want to use it for making the bow on. Or two, to hold your mesh while you're doing all that stuff. It actually makes a nice little spot for you to place the mesh and just kind of let it sit. So in the order of this, it comes with six dowels in there. Um, the holes are in there. Um, just so, so that you bang the dowels in, there's a floating hair right next to me. Um, <laughs> bang the dowels in and you're good to go from there. No glue or anything necessary. And then the last one is our tail board, which the most common is your 1314. And that's what she's using now. I do want to use this down here. Maybe you want to come say hi? Oops. Come, here, come, come say hi. They were asking about so your funny. singing. <laughs> there she Marianne, goes. we um, we are going out to my in-laws. Yep. So we're going to spend some time out there with my mother-in-law and my father-in-law. Yep. I think we should take Gus. We have to. He can't stay here by himself. Mm -hmm. I mean, your dad could check on him, but still. No, it's not the same. Yeah. Gus got a much-deserved bath last night. Yeah, and even though it's middle of winter, the beginning of winter really, 
He's um. Yeah, we just started. He's playing. shedding like crazy. Oh, there's hair all over my bathroom. Yeah, I did. I, so I, was I like... did my best last night to clean it up. I thought I did. <laughs> Making sure it wasn't on my. Feet. This morning I go get in the shower and I put a new rug down because the last night I took the other one out, and this is poof of hair come up. I'm like. <laughs> I cleaned it all up last night because she said, make sure you clean it up. And I didn't want to not clean it up, guys, okay? I'd be in the doghouse for sure. No pen intended. So, Sleeping it with Gus on the floor. So I, you know, made sure to clean it all up, and there's still dog hair. His, his, dog, his hair is really light. So if it's just a couple of strands of hair, you're not going to see it. Anyways. I think I'm going to do the polka dots, too. Hey, Denise. So... So that's gold and gold. Um, gold. So this year perfect. we got our laser. We went to Wreath Makers Live. We debuted the uh, Peyton Blanks group, which has been going since March of last year. Um, we've just been really just rocking and rolling for 2019. It's been a really great year. I mean, it's it's difficult. Working from home, not having that guaranteed paycheck every single week, you know, like you do working working for somebody. As long as you show up to work, you know you're getting paid. Um, <laughs> it's just different for us working from oh. home. It's it's harder. What, Amelia? Yeah, he's doing something over there. He's banging into stuff. But it's still much more rewarding than working for the man, as I like to say. Huh? Not right now. Uh, not We're right doing now. a live. Why don't you come say hi? I can't. I can't help you with that right now. Amelia okay? wants to do some experiment. Come, you're gonna have to come say hi. Come on. Okay. We do have Anyways. to take him to a groomer. Yes, he needs we do. his nail trim, nails trimmed too. I I call him the tap dancer because when he's walking through our kitchen, it's actually kind of good that we can hear him walking in there because we know they might have to go outside. Um, with him being old, he sometimes doesn't make it to the back door, so we know if it's it's if it's closed, we run back there to open it. But anyways, I call him the tap dancer because his nails are so long. And he kind of drags his feet, you know, when he walks. That his nails hit like three times or something. And it's like... Da -da 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 it's hilarious. I can keep a beat to it when he's walking through there. It's really funny. Denise, we have not signed up to be a vendor. Yeah. Hey, Teresa. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Georgie. I'm just seeing like these little puffs of. So I just hair, took a but... two and a half inch of this uh, like check pattern, but it has like lines of purple, green, and gold on it. Um, just to like break up the colors and put some of that black on there. I just thought that would be uh, so cute. So let's see. I, I bet a lot of vets will trim toenails for free because they don't wouldn't want a groomer to do it just because a lot of groomers probably don't do it correctly i would assume you know so maybe the vets would say no, hey groomers are trained to do it oh. hairstylists are trained to cut hair too and i've had mine butchered more than once well so. look where you go i'm just saying yeah i know so same kind of people can work at a uh, dog groomer i know you want to fight i found a, a actual barber shop this last year and I used to go to the Great Clips and Supercuts, whichever was See? closest and easiest. <laughs> and I really hated it, but I I don't uh, worry about my hey hair Damon. at all. I Hi, get Anna. my hair cut very Hi, infrequently. Marie. But I found a barber shop that's actually not not far from the house at all. Owen loves going there. Uh, it's pretty cool. Just a bunch of old dudes. Um, you know, they got the news on on the TV. That kind of place. They got a coffee maker right in the middle of the lounge area. Um, and I went in there actually this last time and I got my beard trimmed and they did a really good job. I really liked it. I just, I'm due for a haircut big time right now. And I am getting it cut shorter than I did last time. 
Because it, gr- it grew back way too fast. Your head's going to get cold. You know what, Damon? <laughs> so, I have a story about supercuts. <laughs> See? From, I'm going to say, probably close to 15 years ago. And that was when I actually started to grow, um, <laughs> really grow my goatee out. And I had a mustache at the time. I used to, I used to wear a mustache all the time with my goatee. And I went to the Supercuts. No thanks. And uh, this older Asian lady, she was super sweet, really nice. She was doing my hair. And I should have known the jig was up when she stabbed the mole that I have in the back of my head <laughs> with the clippers. Because I, I have two little moles back here. And I never would say anything before because they would always notice when they were clipping my hair. Well, this lady didn't notice. And, like, the tip of the clipper went into it. And I was like, Wow. She tried to cut it off. It like bled and everything. <laughs> so ever since then, I tell people not to, or I tell people about the mole and not to try to cut them off. And I should have should have taken that as a hint, but I didn't. And I asked her to trim my mustache for me. And like I said, she was really sweet. <laughs> but she took the razor, oh, the shoot. straight edge razor, and just made it, a line excuse, across I need my to lip. Grab something. What, made you look like Hitler or something? Cutting off the middle of my story. Rude. Anyways, so a straight line across my lip like this. So I had a big old bushy bushy mustache with a straight line across like this. And I didn't have the heart to say anything. I mean, I was in my early 20s, mid-20s, whatever. And uh, so I just went home and I just shaved off my mustache and it just left my goatee. And I haven't grown a mustache since. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. I don't like it. It gets it in the way. I don't like it. When he tries to kiss me, it gives me burns. I, like, I grow a really don't full kiss mustache. Me with that. So, a really nice mustache. I keep threatening that I'm going to grow it again. I actually started growing my, my Lebray in and kind of moved my, my shave line up a little, up my cheeks a little bit to okay, try to my grow here. to uh, grow my beard in a little bit more full. Okay, so um, I'm over that story. I need to do... <laughs> I need to put tubing on. <laughs> they didn't come here to hear about your facial hair. They did. They, uh, no. Give me Let's give finish. me some hearts no. if you guys came in just to hear about my Torval no. Supercuts We, we want to hear about 2019. We don't care about Supercuts. Well, that was part of it. I found a barber shop in 2019. <laughs> so I'm just going to stop talking now. Um, yeah, I have enough. Yeah, but I'm only going to put it on the ends because I'm going to put a bow in the middle, right? So yeah. I'm getting hearts. That's because they feel sorry for you. <laughs> Let's be real here, okay? What are you laughing at? <laughs> You're going to be grounded. You're not allowed I to take I brought that other side. green and I didn't need it. <laughs> It does get in the way. <laughs> okay, so just take my purple, my green, and my gold. You just set up an and make this right. little thing here. Put it right on top of the tie. I don't have beads, so I can't put any beads on it. Hey, Christine. Hey, Christine. So this rail <laughs> kit you guys can actually find on the online store. Um, she's offering it unpainted as well as painted. So if you want it painted already, um, you can get that in there. The spool board is 12 inches. So if you want 12 inch tails, you just have to use the end of the spool board here and come to the other end and uh, go like that. Really? And then um, from the end to the middle is six inches. So if you wanted a six inch loop, that's what you would use to measure. I just love this ribbon here. And then when we're done, we will um, fluff it out. It's getting crazy here. Look, it's coming all off the bang. Huh? What is in the way? 
Oh, is it? Oh, I'm just yeah. going to do two loops. And then I just bring it down here. You can, babe, that's enough. You don't have to hold that anymore. But you you need, to, you're in my space. Move, get out of here. Put it down. You, now you're full of glitter. Do it over the trash can though, please. I want to use this here. I know I'm missing comments. Richard is doing something. Yep, I'm just linking those. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Oh, look at this is like paper. Does this have it is wired. Oh wow. I don't I don't know where this came from. Look at that. Hmm. Huh. Kind of weird, huh? Yeah, but it's wow. wired. Look. That's interesting. Right? Yeah. Like a I'm gonna right. I'm gonna use it. it looks see. fun. It looks like it could be for Mardi Gras. <laughs> uh, <look laughs> so hey Casey. Um, Hi Casey. Where is that? Where's my deer head? I moved it because it was in my way. <laughs> this this ribbon is a little weird. It's more of like a uh, mylar type of material. Yeah, I can see it. I mean, I can't see it, huh? Like paper, but it's not paper. It's just really weird. Um, so I just want to point out this deer head rail I actually did on a live a couple weeks ago. Um, you guys will see me kind of trying to do more stuff. Um, she's going to teach me how to do, do the stuff, stuff she's teaching you guys <laughs> to prove that um somebody like me who's an inept at doing so crafty stuff like this uh can actually do it so anybody can so i actually did this she actually ended up doing the a bit of the bow and stuff i think i kind of lost faith in my myself at the end there uh if you guys are interested in the deer head rail we have that listed as well and do we have that uh, listed as painted the black. I don't know what you did. I don't think he did. I think it's just regular. This is really weird. Look at this. Yeah. But put something else on there to cover up the wrinkles. So anyways, 2019. <laughs> Stay in your lane. <laughs> uh, uh, do you have little cutouts to attach to the back of the truff, truck shelf sitters? Um, and Trisha, also, we will be getting the rest of that stuff out to you tomorrow. Trisha, I have not been able to finish working on those. That has to be, uh, we have got to get that done. Yeah. So going between the CNC and the laser, it's totally two different software and uh, two different file types. And hi. Hi, sorry. Um, it's been like. Crazy it's it's hard to, to go back up. and forth between the two when we're trying to do stuff. And I can't I like this. Can't really run the CNC and the laser at the same time. I've done it a couple of times, but I don't like doing it because if something were to happen, uh, power wise, <laughs> and everything were shut down because I'm using too much and it trip a breaker, I would have to restart both the machines all over again, and I don't want to have to do that. I don't want to have to start one machine over again, let alone two. So, um, I kind of have to do them at different times. And Krista, did you feel that? Like, he's going to tell me to do something with the bow. I felt it. <laughs> okay, this I love, but it is super thick. It's like jelly on one side, and then it's almost like this shiny satin on the back side. But I... It's super fancy, so I want to use it. And we're just going to make this, like, amazing. So I'm just going to do... I think I'm just going to do a small center loop. What do you think? Um, nah, we'll just do a bow. And it's so hard to work with. But it looks great. Hey, Roger. It does look great. No, it's working. 
Hi, Uncle Roger. He always jumps on and he never says anything. I don't know if he knows. He doesn't know how to Ch Facebook. <laughs> oh, yes, he does. <laughs> Ordering 20 inch heart cutouts. What else do I need to make a door rail? If you order the the conversation heart, the 20 inch, it'll come with the rail. Um, if that's the same one that you're looking for. You know, Teresa, it's it's not very often that she actually gives me, has to give me the side eye or anything. Uh, usually she just growls. Um, really? <laughs> oh, everybody wave bye to Richard. <laughs> Love you. I knew I was digging myself a hole with that one, but I couldn't help so it. So stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and then I need another pipe cleaner for the floor to leak. You have to turn the heater off. I hear the heater on, and now I feel it. Turn it on. You guys. Okay, so lift up the bow. Make sure you can get your um zip tie or pipe cleaner or whatever you're using underneath there through all of them okay and then we're gonna fluff it because it's looking like a hot mess the hearts in a row <clears throat> that green is so like bulky right there there we go. There we go. Now I got it. So you guys see how she was able to do all that on the spool board. And bring this guy over. And because I didn't do anything in the middle, I'm going to tie this off and make sure that um, the ribbon doesn't come out. I'm going to even cut it. Where's my um, wire cutter? Now, some people ask how to get the dowels inside the um, spool board. I use my wire cutter just because it's easier for me, but Richard has the hammer. You're just going to pound them in, like, you know, so they don't come out. If they do come out again, just pound them back in. You can even add some glue. Um, we haven't had to do that, so. Okay, so here's the bow going to go right there and I think I'm going to put the floor to lee right on top so just take your um pipe cleaner here and feed it through to the rail and I'm actually just going right over the middle so it has something to rest on but I want it to go through the other side. There we go. Oh. See, now it moved. Thank you, babe. So there's that. And I don't want the bow flopping around, so make sure it's resting up and not falling down. Excuse me. Thanks, Casey. Thanks for doing that. Karen, if you see something that doesn't have a rail on it, um, that's already designed in the store, it doesn't take me um, that much to get it designed. You have to send me an email. I'll never catch these messages. It's hard to find them again. Um, and let me know which uh, cutout or design you want. And then we can add the rail to it. So it's all one piece if you prefer that. So just tie off the bow. I just snipped some of the ties. And then now we get to fix this up here. I wanna make sure that you can still see the ribbon and the bow doesn't get um, overshadowed here. This green, we're just going to stand up a little bit. This paper ribbon is weird, but it's, I think it's perfect here. Thank you, Casey. What do you think? 
Yeah. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. What's happening? This are putting the... Aw. And then we want to do... Let's do the ties or the ends here. Um, I want the green at an angle because I'm going to roll it. So just do that. That. Oops. Gus is over here making little grunting noises. I hear him. I'm not sure that I'm doing this right. I wonder if you leave the zip ties <laughs> flexible like that, if you could fold the legs back to ship it in the smaller box. Oh, you probably can. So this is pretty yeah. loose. Look, it's pretty loose. You can totally do this. I, if you're doing this for a customer, I would let them know, you know, leave the zip tie on there kind of loose and just show them how to um, pull the legs down and pull the zip tie and you can fold it like that. What are you doing? And then you can ship it. Where'd you get that tape from? Is that your and tape? And it's just, I mean, it's, you know, like that. So let me finish. I for, do it like this. Amelia's putting tape on her mouth. Why are you doing that? I mean, it's not a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> you don't let me do that to you. You can't laugh right now. <laughs> So dovetail the ends here. Let's finish this up. Stop it. Oops. So we have lots of fun things coming for 2020, which yep. is just in a few days. I can't believe this year is over. Um, we have some um, fun things coming to the Paint and Blanks group. Uh, we are going to be um, concentrating and refocusing um on more wreath rails and more options like these are you know these are fun these are different it gives you something fun to do um do you want to talk about how you seal it after we've already done the project so if they wanted to like if you wanted to do a party but you don't want to spray right because there's a bunch of people yeah. there so what she's saying is so say you have a party of 10 people because we do have a lot of people that order these in bulk to have a party at their house or their place of business, have a bunch of people come in. So if you're having them come in and you have these blank and you're going to show them how to paint them and then decorate, obviously you're not going to have the time to be able to uh, to finish off the uh, with the clear coat on the paint. And that's not a big deal. You can do that later. Um, what's really great with these things is you can show them how to decorate the rail and then they can attach the zip ties on later after they've had a chance to clear coat the the pieces but with a rail like this one back here obviously you can't do that because it's all attached all we do is we take a length of cardboard slide it between the mesh and the rail pull it back just a little bit and then spray down behind there it does not affect the mesh or anything like that the cardboard is taking care of it and you're able to spray all that and get it uh, get it covered with some clear coat um, we obviously will clear it outside and leave it sitting outside. Um, so if you're going to do that, make sure that wind won't blow it away or anything. I'm sure with the mesh it will. But just a bit of cardboard, slide it in there, kind of push it back a little bit, and then spray. That way you don't have to worry about sending a piece out without clear coat during a party or, or what have you. We've had times where she's painted something that she wanted to use on a live and we didn't have a chance to clear coat it first. So she would decorate it and then the next day I would just go in and I would just clear coat it afterwards. It's really not a big deal. Super simple to do. Just a length of cardboard or anything really stiff and disposable that you could put back in there. I think I'm going to add the floor de lis to the, um, to the bow. What do you think? Doesn't that look yeah. cute? Put it right in the middle. I think that's awesome. I think that's going to be perfect. And this... I didn't tighten the zip ties tight enough, so they're flopping around. So now I'm just hey, taking Sue. the pipe cleaner Hi, Linda. Um, from the uh, Fleur de Lis. I just put it right through that cable tie mount. I don't want to smash the bow down, but I want the Fleur de Lis to be secure. So I'm just pulling it a little bit tighter and then um, working it 
um, Hi, through the back and securing it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. So the fun thing about the rail kits is Thank that, you guys. Um it's different, it's new. Hi Linda. You don't see a lot Hi, of these. Sue. Um and it gives you a different option. You don't have to use these just for a door. These are great to use as uh in place of swags on the pillar or on the post or something like that because it's got that slender straight down um look to it. So if you wanted to decorate uh, a full on wreath for a door and then you have a couple of pillars that you need to put some swags or something on. This is a great um, uh, alternative to that. Yep. So I'm just going to just keep going. I'm going to take another cable tie mount, pull the sticky off the back. Uh, Debbie, yes, we do have all of the rail kits do have the painted option on them. Um, if you reply to the bot, and that goes for any of you guys, if you reply to the message, um, the thank you for watching message, the bot will just then send you more info and it will have all of the links to these new rail kits in there. So I just put the DAP glue. It, I love this stuff. It takes 30 seconds to set and 30 minutes to cure. But I normally um, just hold it. I actually take my mesh roller, my mesh holder because it's steel. And I set that on top to just have some weight on it. Um, and that's all I do to um, hang these up. That's Let's where see. all your I don't have any more out. purple, so we're gonna take the take a black one. And I just take a pipe cleaner, put it right back through. Um, you can use wire. I don't have any more wire. Um, I don't have any more twine. We have to go get some. <laughs> but I just take a pipe cleaner, put it right through the cable tie mount, and tie it off. Um, that's what I did on this one. We actually have used wire in the past. Hi, the Mary. Only issue with um, actual like like a tie wire, like tailing wire or something like that, is that if the wreath or the rail or whatever it is is going to be swaying in the wind at all, that wire will eventually kind of rub on the door and leave a mark. So you can use wire if you are uh, have a different situation you're not worried about that. Um, I've done it before where I just took a bit of wire and I wrote, wrapped, yes, it, Alice. wrapped the ends on a pencil to kind of give it a Yay. twist and then kind of followed it through to the other end and did the same. So it kind of gives the wire a kind of a cool little look without it just looking plain Jane on there. So all I did was put that cable tie mount on the back, put the pipe cleaner through, <coughs> twist it off the pipe cleaner so it makes a loop, twist it on the back of the... Um, like this, put it through, twist it, and now you have a hanger. Isn't that cute? What'd you do to my thing so I can't see? Huh? Amelia, come over on this side because we can see your big head. <laughs> hi, guys. Oh, they're saying hi. Alice, yes, Richard's starting the um, listing. So that's how you guys put these rail kits together. If you want to buy the blank ones, paint it how you want, um, seal it, and it comes with this 10 inch rail, and you saw how we just made it. Look at how amazing these are. Super fun. Um, yep, I love Mardi Gras. I have a lot of success with my customers with Mardi Gras, just because it's so like uh, bright colors and all this fun stuff. Last year we did amazing with Mardi Gras. This year we have this. Thank you.